I'm Tony Burke, one of the full-time Religious Studies faculty in the Department of Humanities. And as you make your final choices for courses for the coming school year, I hope you'll consider Humanities 2830, Founders of Christianity. It may not be obvious from the course title, but Humanities 2830 is essentially a course on the New Testament, with a few other writings from around the same time period. The course is offered in one three-hour chunk on Tuesday nights in fall and winter. Those of you who took one of our first-year courses, either the Bible and Modern Contexts, or Greek and Biblical Traditions, or Roots of Western Culture, uh, you'll already have some acquaintance with studying the New Testament in an academic setting. But you don't need any prior knowledge of the text to take this course, and you won't be bored spending a complete year on it, because there's always more that can be said about the material. You also don't need to be of any particular religious background to take the class. In fact, we often find that people who come into the class with no preconceptions about the New Testament do better than others uh, that don't. I became interested in studying the Bible myself when I was an undergrad. I enrolled in university as an English literature major and found that there were so many stories and metaphors and images from the Bible in what I was reading for my English courses that I, did take, I decided to take some Bible courses to help me better understand them. In time, my love for studying the Bible surpassed my love for English classics. And certainly you will find it useful to deepen your knowledge of the stories and characters that are embedded in Western culture. But remember, this is a university course. It's not Sunday school. So we'll be looking at the New Testament critically. We'll try to understand when each text was written and for what purpose, and particularly why each writer portrays Jesus and other figures in the early Christian movement the way that he does. Everyone has a different way of imagining Jesus, and it's fascinating to see how different those portrayals can be when you look closely at them. I'm particularly interested also in how the New Testament texts were copied and translated over time. Out of about 5,000 Greek manuscripts of the New Testament, there's something like 50,000 differences among them, because they were copied by hand for over 1,500 years. So when we look at each text in the course, we will consider the various differences in our copies of the various manuscripts and try to determine what the original text said. Sometimes these differences can be quite dramatic, and it's important, I think, if you want to use the Bible as a guide for life to figure out what the, what the writer really wrote about all those centuries ago. So if this interests you, sign up for the course. For a sneak peek at the course syllabus, go to my website, it's just tonyburke.ca, and look under courses. I'm still fiddling around with a few things in it, but uh, it's enough there to give you a sense of what we're going to be doing. So I hope to see you soon.